Hey guys, Nick here, Thrive. So you're an Aweaver, you've just set up your brand new account and you are wanting to set up an autoresponder for your local business or for any business. Um, and you're wanting to set that up so that it goes out to your subscribers. So you're going to go to campaigns and let's say somebody's opted in for a uh, free voucher. So if you were to create a blank campaign, call it free voucher, this is under messages, under campaigns. Um, you can set it up so that uh, someone is added to your list when they subscribe and they subscribe to, you know, a particular um, item. You hit see a message. This is all pretty intuitive. You can choose the message that you have. Let's just choose, say, the one here. So your discovery call. Thanks for applying for your discovery call. Thanks for you know, grabbing your voucher and then put the instructions in and then anything else that you want to. Um, and then from that point, you can apply a tag to those people, such as, uh, you know, discovery call, for example. Um, then all you got to do is hit save and exit. Um, if you haven't actually built out that free voucher campaign, um, then you can actually build out the message elsewhere. Um, let's say you didn't have that message preloaded. And then what you'd want to do is you'd want to um, build out that message. So instead of going to create campaign, then you want to um, basically add a new message in. Now you may have some loaded in your drafts or you're just gonna create your message here. Um, drag and drop email builder is the best one. Plain text is if you've just got the text only. Um, but for this as being a crash course for you for setting up your first autoresponder. We've already kind of set it up, but this is just showing you how to create a different message. So they've got some already preloaded first name. So that will just replace out the first name. So it might be like, hey, you know, John, if that's their first name, um, thanks for grabbing your voucher. Um, we'll be in touch over the next 24 hours to help you redeem your voucher. Um, you know, yours, and you could put like, you know, John, um, you know, uh, crazy pizzas, right? Um, so depending on how you want to do that, Pierce, your voucher is below. And then if you want to do something real simple, you could just create the voucher such as, you know, this entitles you to um, one free fries with every pizza order. And you could kind of just set up your voucher in like a text version like that. Just keep it real simple. You don't need a voucher number or anything. There are other softwares that you can do and other ways that you can put that together. But that's just one example. Um, give it a name. So like free pizza voucher. Um, save and exit down the bottom here. We're going to wrap this video up in just a second. So you've got that video set up. Um, you can schedule it to go out. But what you want to do is you want to add it into the right um, area. You can broadcast that so it can send out to these subscribers, for example, who should share this message, who should receive it. So receiving, you can just select the list that you want it to go out to. Um, if you're in campaigns here, you can swap out the current message, the, the discovery message I put in there. You can actually swap it out for a different message. So um, if you want to activate it, you can hit activate. Otherwise, hit free voucher, grab this here, um, remove the email, choose a different message. There's the new one, free pizza voucher, select that, save and exit. So just swapped it out for the more appropriate one. So that's how to set up your autoresponder. What it's going to do is it's going to trigger off on new subscribers when people subscribe, so on subscribe. Um, it's going to find that voucher out to them right away. And then you can set up other delays and other um, versions. And then when you're ready to activate it, just hit activate and it will go ahead and load. That's how to set up your autoresponder in AWeber, your first one.